No! I won't let you ruin centuries of preparations! What's happening? Surrender and give us the boat. Look out! He's, he's building up in a ch ah. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. So bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. All right, people. I hope everybody got some rest. Let me pray before we go. Mighty Hoonding, give me your strength and your wisdom, Ser Serana. I don't know why you are just so irksome. Hoonding, hear me, strengthen me. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, I can't wait till this is over. All right, is there anything else that we need to see or do before we move on? So it looks like the farmer was living right here. Next to the prelate. Hmm. Next to the prelate and the shrine. Interesting. All right, let's go. This is truly something else. It looks like something else. Uh oh. Who's this? This is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. Hello. This, this is not the land I remember. What, what happened? What are you doing? You, you, I don't know you. Stay back. I, I will defend myself. Will should the you? need arise. Okay. Um. Defend yourself. You look like you can barely stand up. I may be weak, but I am still one of the Snow Elves. Even Iskrimor and the Dwemer, with their foul contraptions, could not withstand our fury. No, they had to try other methods, cowardice and trickery. A great people brought low by the corruption. I look upon a once mighty stronghold and despair. It seems that there are few of us left, and the slumber did not help us. No being, mortal or god, can retake their home and restore what once was alone. The Fame are doomed. I'm surprised that your, your skin is, uh, darker than a snow elf that I encountered earlier. Maybe you're mixed. Oh my god, Serana. By the gods. So, um, Velia, you say your name is? You have been asleep for all this time? How was that possible? You, you do not understand. We are not like others. We do not age as you do. We do not wither and die as easily as a failed crop. Oh, wow. Okay. We are still mortal, but centuries fall away as hours do for you. 
not that it did us much good in the end. We were susceptible to the price as any other, and many, too many, chose to pay it. I remember this place when it was full of life, initiates walking the path to Oriel and a golden hall where ruins now lie in its place. The fall is complete. I, I wish I had not awoken and simply passed on like the rest of my kin. Hmm, I'm thinking that you're part high elf and snow elf because I, Serana was standing next to you and you're very tall. So what was your empire like? It was beautiful. Beyond description, our people span this continent, peaceful and opulent. But the Nords came, the brutish, arrogant men of the North, and sought to tear down what we had built. So many died in those first days, but that was just the beginning. When we were forced underground, we were given a choice by the Deep Ones. The Deep Ones? The fungus. The poison. It was more devastating than any longship, and most of us chose to undergo it willingly. Then, well, it was only a matter of time. Those who refused were slaughtered by the hundreds. Mm. Dwemer, Nord, the betrayed, it didn't matter. We no longer had the numbers to survive the conflict, let alone protect ourselves. Well, Gelabor is still alive, as is his brother Vertha, who we've been sent to kill. The brothers. <laughs> oh, that's Gelibor, funny. even after all this time, in the darkest days, Still, he clung to hope that there could be a way through this. There had to be, surely. To watch your people and civilization waste away before your very eyes is slow and distressing. He found comfort in Oriel, in belief that it wasn't the end. But that's exactly what it was. Belief. Oriel is gone and the few of us that remained turned on ourselves in his absence. Vyther sought a different comfort, that of madness. His anger burned as the Empire fell around us, and so he fell with it. Hmm. I think it's pronounced Verther, but, you know, maybe you know better since you are a uh, snow elf. So you're giving up. Honor the farmer and who they were. Stand in the ashes of countless dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. Hmm. I know why you're here. To take Oriel's bow from the Chantry. I will not stop you. And I do not care whose hands it falls into anymore. Well, that's a relief. It is behind that door, along with the rest of whatever remains of my people. Do what you will, Traveler. Its legacy is in your hands now. Well, thank you. But... Why don't you care what happens to it? Have you heard about the prophecy? What does it matter? If you awoke to a strange land, out of time, would you care about its fate? <laughs> I see your point. It is not callousness or despair, but indifference. Oriel did nothing to help us when we needed it the most. Some cursed the sun some chose to believe that he is with us still, but I just don't care. Hmm. Perhaps it is a fool's dream, or it will come to pass. I have no energy left, no thoughts to give, 
No sword arm to swear. Not even a cause to live for. How you and the daughter meet Vyther's call is your Vertha. choice to make. I am done here and will not return. Mm. Goodbye, traveler, and good luck. All right, well, thank you. So, the brothers aren't the only surviving snow elves, then. There are others. Is this a, a doorway? No. All right, let's keep moving. And Serana, your rudeness is, it's just incredible how you're gonna walk all up in my face and stuff while I'm talking to that woman. All right, here's another uh, excavation site. So many of these here. Cannot wait till we get finished with this. That vampire needs to be put down. All right, what do we have here? Pour the water. And now what? Well, what now? Yes? Wait, something's happening. Oh, we did it open. Come on. These Falmer are... they're frozen in the ice. I wonder how long they've been like this. And I thought the Soul Cairn was creepy. Oh look, a, a jade dragon. Okay. So, some of these things are carrying stuff, I think. Can't tell what, what some of it is. I'm a scroll of blizzard. All right, well, these things don't seem to be important. Anybody want to tell me why uh, Joris would be carrying a, a staff in its mouth? sword is this? Just an elven sword. Silver emerald necklace. All right, what do we got here? Wait a minute, 
y'all hear that breathing? Spear. Let's can I see what's in here. Uh, more than Malari. Huh, it really wasn't worth it. All right, everybody, come out. Come out. Thank you. Let's go. Everybody out, everybody out, come on. That's it, even the skeleton. Okay, let's go. This precision. So for 10 seconds, your next three bow shots fire out additional spectral arrows. Huh. Okay, well. That might be nice. Astral Blitz fires a streak of Aster Light, dealing 311 damage to stamina and magic. Huh. It's interesting. Come on. like through here. All right. Oriole's Chapel this way. No. 
something back here. <clears throat> All right, this way, come on. Expecting to claim Ariel's bow. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Apparently. Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Huh? What? What's going on? So, what just happened? Anything? Where'd you come from? Oh. Uh oh. Where are they coming from? Is that it? So he sent frozen Chorus after us. Okay. So he he's just gonna sit there and make us oh no, Where'd there's you more. Done and where'd you come from? Oh now the shield works. Done and done. This has gone on long enough. Uh oh. Where'd Look out! My life ended long. Where'd you come from? All right, I think you've run out of, uh... Oh, no! Oh! Materializing out of thin air. What's happening? Surrender and give us the 
Look out! He's, he's building up energy. Ah! Are you all right? Come on, we can do this. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Go oh, on. You all right? Where's Sherry? Sherry? You okay? All right, we made it. All right, let's confront this arch curate. Oh, here's his, this is the throne. So what else is in store? Wait, where's my sword? I don't, I can't draw it. Enough, Werther. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? What? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one he of my... He is a vampire. Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood Don't of a look daughter at me. of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Uh oh. Look out. Where'd you come from? Serana. What have we got here? Look at this. A desecrated amulet of Ariel. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled the betrayed. A vampire? Yes. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. Hmm. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow. And in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. 
If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. There it is. Oriel's bow. Astral flare. Huh. All right, well. Can I take it? There. Oh. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Hmm. All right, we have the bow, so what do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. Hmm. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. All right, well, you know he's gonna have to die. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Good. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. All right. Hmm. Oh, it hurts me to say this, but let's face him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. More than two. All right. Um, I think I'm going to need some arrows. It's good to speak to you again. For this bow. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. Okay. What can you tell me about Oriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. It sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. Really? With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. All right. Um, Ver Vertha said something about using blood. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Okay, so how do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. Okay. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. Really, I didn't know I had elven arrows. Can you make me some more? I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. Okay. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it, then. Farewell, friend. May the glow of Oriel shield you from your enemies. Thank you. Serana, you're doing it again. <coughs> Fighting styles often come down to build. You got arms like a clan fear. Ser Serana, can, no can you... Range with a weapon, yeah, just get, get out of the way, shield. please. All right. We need to figure out how to get back home. I suppose it's going to be through one of these portals, or... Is there a fast travel method? Hmm.
then I'm guessing it's going to be one of these portals. Alright, I think we need to get back to Darkfall Cave. Alright. We've got what we came for. And, uh, Gore, Sherry, I think we're gonna take a little rest here and prepare for our confrontation with the Volgahar clan. <laughs>